What up everyone welcome back to the channel Jamal here so in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tour of my desk I'm going to be showing you my monitor my ps5 the speakers everything that I have on my desk I've been getting a lot of questions so I figured you know what let me just drop this quick video while it's snowy and I'm stuck in the house so I hope you enjoy this content let's hop into it so since my MacBook Pro only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports I use a hyperdrive adapter. This is a 7 and 2 adapter. It has the HDMI port, two USB C ports, a micro SD and a SD port, as well as two USB A ports. So, definitely has a lot of flexibility and it's something that you would absolutely need for your MacBook Pro. So speaking of the MacBook Pro, I am running a 13 inch i5 with 16 gigs of RAM. And I'm currently running Big Sur and that allows me to get 5120 by 1440 resolution, which looks absolutely amazing on this monitor. Next I have is the Habata desk chair. So this is a nice comfy chair. I really like the styling of it. That would really grab my attention. I like the V shape in the back. It has a nice um, headrest, super comfortable, and it also comes with a footrest. So when I'm feeling like just kicking my feet up, I can just pull it from underneath and just stretch my legs out for a bit. So the main item is definitely this desk. So what I have is a Nexera Libri desk. I probably butcher that word, but this desk is about nine, about nine feet long, about two and a half feet wide. It was originally for me and my fiance, but the more I added more stuff to the desk, um, she ended up getting her own. So this is the six in one desk mount. It's definitely a versatile tool. I definitely got this, so I wanted my desk to look more cleaner. I didn't want a bunch of wires and stuff. And this just complemented my whole um, walk from home, as well as doing some tutorials and stuff like that. I can just bring my mic in. My laptop is just floating over there on its own. As, as well as a nice camera mount so I can put my camera, do my shooting, my recording all effortlessly. So it's just pretty much a one desk studio setup, which is pretty, pretty good. Did get some inspiration from a YouTuber. Uh, I'm going to put his name in the description that um, put me onto this. So definitely check that out if you do want to have a nice clean desk setup. So this monitor that you're seeing is the super duper Samsung CRG 49 curve monitor. So this is a 49 inch ultra wide monitor. This is the equivalent of having two 27 inch monitor without the bezel in the middle. Great color accuracy, picture in picture. I really like that feature. It allows me to set up my Mac, my PC, as well as the PS5, which is pretty good. So it has three inputs and I currently use them all, which is two display ports at, at 1.4 and an HDMI port at 2.0. All my cables that I'm using the USB-C to display ports are at least 8K resolution. I'm doing this because I want to get the maximum resolution as possible and make sure I'm getting all the colors and pixels displaying. Next, what's holding up this massive monitor is the Loctec monitor mount. So this one is not technically built for this monitor. Um, I, I grabbed it because it definitely supported the weight and it was affordable at the time. But one thing about this monitor, it really cannot support the weight of it. It tilts. So you can tighten up as tight as possible and somehow it just tilts forward, which is a nightmare because it's not easy to put it back in place. So I had a little quick fix for that. Pretty much removed the old Loctec head put the Samsung one and that work flawless it is working perfectly I can flex it up I can flex it down it doesn't sag right now my PC is a Surface Pro 7 I really love this device this is a great two-in-one tablet slash laptop device and that's exactly what I use it for my MacBook it just sits on sits at my desk all the time and it's pretty much a desktop do my software development on the go the pencil is definitely fun it makes writing and uh, creating goals and tasks just so much fun is there something about writing something done that makes you get the brain juices going so i definitely enjoy writing what i have to write as well as taking my software development so such as running some code taking it with me i don't have to just sit at my desk or execute the script and 
you know, watch it while I walk around in the house and be with my son, spend time with the family. Recently just upgraded to Windows 11. It's an automation app that Microsoft has in there. So I'm gonna be taking a look at that, messing around with that app. And the monitor definitely with the PMP mode is amazing. I can have the windows to the left, the Mac to the right, and it's great. Even a Logitech Craft keyboard as well as the Master 2S mouse, it makes everything so seamless. Downloaded the Logic options and with that there's a flow feature. So all I have to do right now is if I put my mouse in the corner on a split screen, it would just transfer over, which is like, wow. Everything is functioning. The keyboard also switches over. So everything is just so magical. Like this is what I'm talking about. You know, being a little productive. Those little things that really makes your productivity worthwhile and it makes your creativity just so much fun. Also has the ability to connect up to three devices. So I have one for a PC, one for the Mac and another for like my work um, station. And the same goes for the mouse. The mouse can do the same pairing. I have the MX Master 2S. And this is a fun little mouse. I love the scroll wheel. It has a nice free wheel, you would say. Um, so I can do a lot of scrolling when I'm looking for code and zip right, right down to the bottom really quick, which is awesome. Also has some features that you can customize. So shout out to Logitech for just making everything so magical for me. All right, next I'm gonna dive into the speakers. So currently on my desk, I have the Audio Engine 2 Plus speakers. These are currently the wired edition. These ones sound amazing, definitely crisp. It, I use the USB port directly into my hyperdrive just to get amazing quality opposed of the audio jack. And pretty much I use the audio jack now for my mic. So that would have been an inconvenience for me to be keep switching back and forth as well. Everything on this is nice. I like the, the, the highs, the clarity, the mids, um, but I do have to complement it with my Logitech two-in-one home system. But what really seals this whole package together is the subwoofer. The subwoofer, I listen to a lot of, we call it trap or hip hop music, and just having that kick and subwoofer feel good, making it productive, put you in an upbeat spirit. So no desk is complete without a pair of headphones. So. I do have a pair of Beats Studio headphones and I just use this when I have to work quietly, when it's late at night and I just have to tune out everyone for a little bit. So the latest addition to my desk is no other than the PS5. This is an absolutely amazing next gen console. I love booting it up and launching some of my old games as well as some of the new ones. I enjoy playing Hitman, Assassin's Creed. There's some new games I play with my family like Sackboy and It Takes Two. And it's just amazing. The PS5 can support up to 120 frames per second. So I'd be playing with that refresh rate from time to time and you really can feel the smoothness um, and how efficient everything works. So definitely love it. I love how the controller looks. It's just amazing. The adaptive triggers. Just ultimately just a great fun experience. Currently it doesn't support the 2 by 9 so I always play within 16 by 9 ratio or maybe the 21 by 9 um, if I wanted to have it centered. But other than that, I am loving it. I love how fast things load and I just love what Sony has done in this console. So shout out to Sony as well too. Last and but not least, I have the Canon Pro 1000. So this is my printer. This is my the magic sauce when it comes to my photography. So I enjoy taking drone photography and landscapes and stills. And opposed to just sending these prints out to different print shops for printing and sending it to clients, I wanted to have that hands-on touch. So I grabbed the Canon Pro 1000. It's a fine art printer. The colors are definitely amazing. The prints that I have hung up on the wall are all printed by that. And I haven't fired up in a long time, so I definitely am a little nervous now. The prints that I have hung up here, I'm gonna print three of them. And I'm gonna send three of them free to any of my subscribers that are interested. So just comment below if you're interested in a print. I'll set you up. 
And that's pretty much my tour of my desk. You know, I have some other little stuff, just like some books that I read, such as some stocks. I'm, I'm learning about cryptocurrency. So, you know, you got to educate yourself about the stock market and certain terminologies. So I've just been doing that in the spare time, as well as some leadership books to help me with my self-development, which is, which is always good. Yeah, that's it. So again, the lava lamp right there, just a cool little feature. Everyone has to have a light on their desk. There's no, can't have a desk without a light. So there you have it. This is my ultimate productivity desk studio. You name it, work from home, office, whatever you want to call it, whatever the keywords are, this is it. If you guys did like this video, smash the like button, comment what you guys think, and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in another video.